Hi there, and welcome to another Quantubly video. This one's about Facebook Graph Search, which is the facility to allow us to get information from Facebook. There is an API for this if you write programs, but you can use the Facebook search bar to facilitate graph searches. Graph searches pull all sorts of very useful and interesting information from Facebook profiles and Facebook pages. However, please be aware that the quality of that data hasn't been validated or verified and may be completely false. So any data you see, make sure you do appropriate checks on it before publishing it. So what I will say is that any information that comes up on my screen today, I can't validate the quality of that data. All it is doing is saying it meets the search criteria. So let me dive into searches straight away. I'm using an ID I've only just set up. So I've got no likes or, or uh, belong to any groups. Anybody could do this after literally one minute of signing into Facebook. And you can search for people who work for a company and I've chosen Facebook and get some returns. Now these people may not actually work for Facebook, uh, they just say they do. And I can reduce the um, return rate by saying and who likes something else, so in this case chocolate. So all these people say they have worked for Facebook and they like chocolate, but they may not, they may not like chocolate, and they may not work for Facebook. You can um, change chocolate uh, for drugs, for example. Now, this is where you have to understand uh, the context of what you're searching for. Drugs in Facebook terminology can mean things like aspirin or paracetamol. Um, it probably doesn't mean hardcore illegal drugs. So just be careful when, when you're representing a search that you understand actually what you are searching for using the terms you're searching. In terms of company uh, companies on the net, other things you may want to be uh, interested in is employers of uh, let's say racism likers so these are people who've liked racism uh, and have said they work for a company and this will return people now I say whether they are actually racist whether they actually work for these companies uh, we can't guarantee uh, but it's just something to be aware of if your company appears in that list you may want to query those individuals and if there is false data try and get that corrected uh, in terms of individuals themselves, you could actually look for married people who um, belong to dating sites. Match.com is a very popular site in the UK uh, for dating. And here we go. So these people may not actually be married anymore. Um, or may forgot they liked Match.com and met their partner on Match.com. Who, who knows? Yeah, it may just be completely false. But we are getting returns. And, and that's sort of, I consider quite personal information that you probably don't really want to put in, into Facebook. Unless you actually work for, for Match.com, maybe, or, or one of his subsidiaries. So, uh, more personal information further uh, using Graph Search. So, so, information that could be used to um, find vulnerable people. And this, this is where it gets quite scary and where, really where privacy needs to be you know, pushed for these people. You find people returning in, in, this, in these searches, you may want to uh, question them when you know them to say, uh, yeah, update your privacy settings because this, this is quite worrying. So you can look for single women. Yeah, there's a, a vulnerable group, um, say who live nearby. So this will return uh, any single people who, who live near where I say I live. Or some, uh, and this could be used uh, you know, uh, for, for, for wrong reasons. You could do uh, single women who like something. So who like. Uh, let's say a local restaurant. So I work in London. Uh, there's a Nando's near me, so I can say a Nando's in in Southwark. So again, um, there, there's a way of, of, of finding out people you know, from, from a particular group, um, and and I may not want to really know that, or may not realise the information they've put on allows that to come up. Uh, well, the other thing you can do as well is not only like where what they like and, and where they are, the status is um their age. So who are older than 60. So again, this is a, a very uh, vulnerable group usually. Uh, if, and if you say where they live and then you say, do they like things like lottery? That, that, you know, that can be exploited by con artists, you know, targeting vulnerable people. So it's really, really important that people are educated in how to, to set their privacy settings. You know, I can't guarantee the quality results but yeah, it, something has to, has to be done, I feel, about like Facebook in, in terms of getting people to do that. Employers need to ask themselves questions about if their people come up on Facebook and they're, they're liking something that 
the employer finds questionable. Is it in the employer's right to do that? I mean, there's loads of ethics around data and big data. So that was just a quick, quick tap into the Facebook graph search, give you an idea of the sort of syntax you can do, the sort of searches you can do, uh, and you can combine these together. There's lots of other information on, on Google uh, and other internet search sites to help you. I uh, hope you found that useful. Uh, we'll quantably. Thank you.